now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Welcome back everybody, it's me, Lil Lunchbox. So recently I made a video addressing how apparently the alt-right and a bunch of other people who tend to, not always, but they tend to live in basements um, or with their parents and I don't really think that that's something to make fun of people for because there's nothing wrong with living with your parents. Living in a basement, I mean I think the lack of sun exposure is possibly a reason why they're so unhappy. I think that's something that is relevant when discussing all of this. Um, anyway, I made a video talking about how I think it's disgusting that this frog Clepe is what I have renamed him, and he was being used to further their agenda, but I gave him a new identity, Clydentity, and now he stands for everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, cisgender, transgender, Clepe stands with us. I'm with him. Anyway, so today I thought that I would read some hate, not comments, but reviews. Um, on the page, you are able to leave a review. Most of my reviews are negative because people enjoy being negative and telling people what they think about me. It's fine, I welcome it. I have to admit, sometimes I scroll through them and I laugh quite a bit at some of the silly things that some people say. Um, sometimes I feel bad, I'm like, these people seem very unhappy. Uh, one person told me that they hope my house burns down, and I find it interesting because most of these comments slash reviews are from people who tend to lean to the right, and they're always talking about how people who are on the left are very hysterical, and that we are very violent and harass people if they have a different opinion. All I've done is exist as a clown. I'm not threatening anyone's life or anything like that, and yet they're so angry. I don't know why I've essentially triggered them to this this point of being so full of just rage. I, I'm so powerful. I don't, it's a lot, it's a lot of responsibility. But anyway, I'm just gonna go through and read some of them. It's sad that our society today glorifies mental illness, but I do not think she is mentally ill. She admitted to being ill in her video about Pepe the Frog. She is not mental ill. She is mentally insane. I fear for our future as a society because dingbats like this will be running rampant. Um, I don't really see what the difference is between mentally ill and mentally insane. I... How can someone who has no money for her own food wear face paint, have several pets, several, drink so much liquor and spend so much time making videos, get a job. If you have one, get two. You don't have the right to be staying at home goofing off. You have failed at obtaining the basic necessities. Get to work. I failed at maintaining the basic necessities? I mean, I'm, I'm well fed, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I got, kinda got a little bit more than the basic necessities. And I have one cat, my son Drexel. Uh, I think you're just jealous that I'm having more fun than you, to be honest. That's, that's really just what it sounds like. I can't, I don't know why you would care if I have a job or not, it's kind of weird. This page promotes dangerous, mentally damaging propaganda and misinformation. Spelled like, if misinformation was like a title, like, hello misinformation, nice to meet you. Like, it's one word and there's one S. This thing needs gassed now, honk. Everything about her is so bad. Generally a stupid page. Most of the posts are to get attention. I don't know if anyone's ever posted something because they didn't want attention, but... Annoying, disrespectful, can't believe she's getting away with this! This is a fucking episode of Scooby-Doo. She's mentally unstable, setting the wrong example for people. Absolute trash. Move on, honey. Um, this one just says, be gone thought, 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 
be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought, be gone thought. What the hell? I'm gonna read nice ones too. I really love your wit. Please develop a version of Pig Latin for clowns. Claw my stay. Claw my stay, Jackie. She's got that good classy, and honestly, she's superior to me and anyone else. Absolutely an ascended being. If you disagree, you're an ugly clunt. <laughs> Thanks, Nikita. Couldn't agree more. She's real and awesome. That's why. Girl, you are an inspiration. Girl, Takashi69 and Lil Xan are out here getting famous. Do whatever you want. You're freshly real and funny. Social media is a disease full of hateful people. You shouldn't even be reading your comments, shaking my head. Keep doing you. I agree completely. Um, I think about that sometimes. I'm like, why do I bother with these peasants, the people sending me clay? But... Sometimes you need to humble yourself and reading clay comments helps me do that. So I just wanted to say that um, everyone who's so riled up about my videos and my opinions, just remember that most of you live in America where free speech is part of the constitution. And if you actually believe and value the constitution, you shouldn't be sending me death threats or you know harassing me solely because I state an opinion that you don't agree with. Now that's your right, you know, as a free citizen, you can do that. Of course, threats are technically not legal, but look, you do you and I'll do me, okay? Clepe's mine now and you're just gonna have to get used to it. He no longer belongs to you. Every time that you post him, you're spreading globalism, multiculturalism, pro-LGBT vibes, pro-transgender vibes, drag queens, everything that you detest. That's Klepe. So whenever you share a meme, I don't care if he has a swastika paint on his chest, he is a symbol of the resistance. Klepe belongs to me and my Lunchables. If you'd like him back, well, it's just not gonna happen. Have a class day and don't let the claters get you down. And just remember that people who attack you because of your opinions are just not happy with themselves. And I wish you all the best. And I hope that you all learn, and you should have learned this when you were in kindergarten, but there's no reason to get so riled up just because someone is living their life in a different way. I don't hate on you for being completely ignorant and, you know, ill-informed about most facts, getting your information from completely biased sources like Breitbart and Fox News, although I think most of you have gotten away from that. That's usually just, you know, right-wing boomers, but a lot of you just aren't that bright. And it's sad that a person like me, who doesn't really have any formal education, had to be the one to tell you this. But I wish you well. Have a great day, everybody. No matter what your political opinions are. I love you.